Hey guys, it's Ropsy back with Paperless X. In today's video, we'll be going through the top features that set Colabio Spaces apart from other word processing applications on the iPad. If you're new to our channel, hello. Make sure you subscribe and turn on your notifications so you know each time we release a new video. And if you're already subscribed, fantastic human, welcome back. Colabio Spaces can extract text from physical documents to add to Word documents that you're creating. The application uses the iPad OS scanning technology to scan text. Its auto scanning is very accurate, but you can always use manual scanning if you prefer that. You are then asked to insert as text or as an image. This is the most accurate text extraction we have seen on the iPad though this is strictly limited to text only. Colabio Spaces does not transcribe handwritten notes, which is not surprising considering this is a word processing app. All the pages we've scanned so far have zero mistakes, except for one, which put the numbers on a list on different lines. That's the only mistake we've spotted so far. The app does a great job retaining the structure of your document, which is very impressive. For complicated documents, it is better to save them as images. Colabio Spaces creates beautiful image scans. If your notes have too many diagrams or handwritten notes, you don't want to lose. When you scan your documents from the home page of the application, you get an option to clip the text. This copies the text so you can paste it in any app on your iPad. If you don't like working on scanned PDFs, this is a very useful application to have. I don't know about you, but I prefer working on proper PDFs versus scanned ones. They just work better. Let's hope in the future we'll be able to use images we already have in our photos library. You can privately collaborate on your documents in Colabio Spaces without uploading them to any cloud service. Working with nearby colleagues requires you to be connected to the same Wi-Fi. You can then start collaborating and give your team members the password that appears on your device. The application shows you the active members that you're currently working with. This collaboration is in real time and there is only one copy of the document which is on your device. That means when you close the document, the collaboration session ends for your team members as well. Next time you need to go through the same document, you have to create a new collaboration session, which means you'll be creating a new password and a new link. To understand this better, let's look at how Microsoft Word, Google Docs, and Pages collaborate. And we'll use Microsoft as an example. You have to create your document in OneDrive to be able to collaborate on it, which means the application actually creates a copy of that document on Microsoft servers. When you invite people to collaborate, the people you're collaborating with can access this document because a copy of it exists in the cloud. Everyone will have a copy of that document on their device and they can work offline or online and sync the changes. In Google's case, you'll be using Google Drive, of course, and with Pages, you'll be having to rely on iCloud. The passwords and links you create give access to a document that's on your device. We are used to the collaboration where different people can work on a document at different times. This new approach comes with a few comforts that we like. How do you feel about this type of collaboration? We haven't found any evidence that the application uses the internet for all of this. It doesn't appear under background app refresh, which suggests it's not connecting to the internet. There are no signs that the application syncs across devices either that would upload documents to iCloud. Everyone on your team is an editor. They have similar editing options that you have. You can track changes that everyone is making and this will give you a review tab where you can approve or disapprove the changes. You can also filter the changes you see at a time. Collab your spaces lets you add audio comments to your documents. 
The app limits each comment to two minutes, which we feel is more than enough. What are the chances you'll need to comment for more than two minutes? And what are the chances your team members will have the patience to listen? When you're done listening to a comment, you can just delete it. We look forward to having the ability to respond to audio comments with audio comments. That's probably not necessary, but it'll be fun to have, wouldn't it be? Collabio Spaces has an inbuilt PDF reader with some basic annotation tools. It only works in portrait mode, though. We really look forward to having landscape because it's a bit uncomfortable switching from landscape into forced portrait mode. The highlighter, underline, and strikeout tools are pleasant to use. You can add comments to your PDF. This pop-up window needs to be a bit smaller though, so we can at least see what we're commenting on. You can add signatures to your PDFs and your Word documents too. Signatures in the application behave like images, especially in Word documents. You can use an old signature that you already have in the app, or you can create a new one. We do not advise saving digital signatures in applications. It's better for you to create a signature every time as you would do with paper documents. Though you can add handwritten notes, the inking in the application is not that great. Considering that this is not a handwriting note-taking app, that is not surprising. There is still a lot of work that needs to be done to make PDF reading better in the application. But for minimalist annotations, this works. If the developers, however, hope to compete with other PDF readers on the market, they have quite a lot of work to do. Collabio Spaces is the most minimalist word processing app we've encountered for the iPad. It is ideal for creating simple documents that are simpler than what you'd create in Google Docs, for example. Everything you do in the application is simple and straightforward. Adding headers and footers. inserting page numbers, and changing your heading types. Unlike with Microsoft Word, the toolbar in Collabio doesn't have layers. Minimalist means there are few limitations pro users might not like. The application does not support custom fonts. Though Collabio Spaces has a lot of fonts to choose from, we still need to be able to use custom fonts in a word processor. Tables with more than four columns are difficult to work with. Resizing columns is not intuitive, which makes it unpleasant to work with tables in the application. Collabio does not support basic iPad OS features like multitasking. The application should at least support split view. The application also does not support Scribble or Duck Mode. Collabio Spaces also does not sync your documents across your devices. This application costs $5.99 a month and you can access it on your iPad, iPhone and Mac. It has word processing, a spreadsheet and PDF reading capabilities. We hope you guys liked this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Thank you. Fantastic human for watching. See you in the next video.